Hey Overasi, it's Mary here and this is OETV Update for Thursday, October 15th. Students, these are the remaining homecoming dress up days. Today is class color day and Friday is formal day. Each day is also hat day. Cost is $1. Students should be wearing red bands. We also have pop fundraisers and homecoming ballot for king and queen will be open through today at 3 p.m. Wristbands will be sold before school outside the Murata Cafe S8. Today will be parade practice for court and band members at 11.45 a.m. Friday festivities include FFA, drive your tractor to school day, parade around the track, and royalty crowned in the stadium at 1.30. Band, court, and student groups will be released at 12.50 p.m. Court and class representatives will be presented during pre-game starting at 6.40 p.m. Football game begins at 7 p.m. There will be no halftime show. However, Amazon will be up and running. Show your school spirit. Students, the junior class is having a fundraiser this week. Stop by Miss White's room to spin the prize wheel and win some fabulous prizes. Each spin is only $1. In other news, the FFA is looking for someone to help create the digital design for our FFA chapter shirts. This would be a great portfolio builder and it includes a free t-shirt. Students interested in participating in the Voice of Democracy contest, please see Miss Blank in E1 for details. The WJSC Student of the Week is Olivia Bensinger. Congratulations. Students, Coach Cunningham is once again offering Sensational Six female athletic conditioning from 3 to 4 p.m. For any female winter athlete in preseason conditioning, remaining dates are October 20th, 22nd, 27th, and 29th. Looking at sports schedule tonight, boys varsity soccer plays at home in districts at 5.30. Boys JV football plays Mount Morris away at 6 p.m. Friday, boys varsity plays Mount Morris for homecoming under our lights at 7 p.m. Girls Varsity Volleyball plays in the Bath Tournament Saturday starting at 9 a.m. And here's more from our virtual team. Hey, what else? It's Emma here for OETV, and today we interviewed Mason Reitenberg and Brandon Greider. What was your record? Um, it was 7-2-1 or 8-2-1. I wasn't exactly sure. Who were the tough teams to play this year? Uh, Byron, certainly, and Ionia. We played them, and we lost 5-0. They were tough. Who were the returning players to the team? There was quite a few, um, like me, obviously, and like Jesse, Colin, people like that. And then also the returning juniors were Adam Barton, Jesse Hodges, and I'm pretty sure the rest of the players were new. Oh, and Josh Swinner and, and Noah Fahey were seniors also. Who do you think was a team leader? Um, I think the team leader this year was either Jack Thornton or Cam. Who improved the most, do you think? The person that improved the most on our team, I think, was um, Justice. He was new to soccer this year, and he improved a lot at the, by the end of the year. What are your team goals this season? Um... Well, to win conference, obviously, which we just did yesterday, and to beat Corona in districts. This is Emma, back to you in the studio. This is Ryan with OE Skywatch Weather. Today it's cloudy with a high temperature of 51 degrees. Winds are out of the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour, and the temperature this evening should be around 33 degrees. This is Ryan, back to you in the studio. Looking at the lunch menu, today we'll be having biscuits with sausage gravy and sausage links. Tomorrow we'll be having chicken tenders. Well, that's our show for today. Have a great day, OE.